Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kika and today I want to show you a quick little Photoshop tutorial how you can add magic to your photos and I'm going to show you how I made this spilling liquid coffee cup heart all just with a few clicks in Photoshop. Step number one is to just take a photo of yourself holding the coffee cup or mug or glass or whatever your preference may be. The second step is to get some coffee spills. So you'll basically pour a liquid into your coffee cup or mug and put your camera on burst mode with a really quick shutter speed so you'll get it sharp and then basically just jug the liquid up and down do be careful to not get the liquid on your camera. I've got some spills on my camera. <laughs> um, and if you have a friend that can help you out behind the lens, uh, definitely I'd recommend that as well. But it's also possible to do by yourself. Just make sure you have enough options of the liquids. So different shapes and little spatters and spills. And definitely you'll need some that are quite sharp, but don't worry if you don't get exactly the shape that you are going for, we can manipulate that later in Photoshop. All right, next step is to open up your photos in Photoshop. So we're going to use the original photo with just holding the cup as the background. Then we're going to go in here and take a selection and use Command C and then Command V. And then you'll have this as a separate layer in Photoshop. Then you can click off these background layers. So you'll just have that layer and you can take the zoom tool and then you're going to go in here to eraser make it a little bit bigger I'm gonna put hardness around 90 and then oh this is too big and then you're just going to erase around so you just have the edge of the cup if you make a mistake you can always use command Z all right and then you have your cup edge in a separate layer Next up, we're going to import the coffee spills. Um, so if you had a few options, then choose the ones that you think will work best. I'm going to choose this one first. And in here, I'm again going to select this area. Then I'm going to use copy and go into my other document. And I'm going to use command V to paste it in. Oh, no, it's way too big. So I'm going to scale it down using the transform tool down a bit. Then I'm gonna, again, click away the other layer. So I only have this one visible. Go in with the zoom tool a bit. And then I'm gonna, again, go into the eraser and just start erasing around. So I'll only have this coffee spill. And I'm going to try to choose the eraser hardness to match the one of this coffee spill. I'm going to erase around the bottom as well because then I can put this coffee spill under the layer with the cup edge so I don't have to worry about that so much. For this video I partnered with Skillshare who I am such a big fan of and I've already taken tons of classes on their online learning platform. At the moment I've just started to take a class which is called Fun with Faces Create a Stylized Digital Portrait with Charlie Clements and I really think this is so good especially for me because I do a lot of photography and videos and I am pretty creative or I mean this mode where I have to be creative because it's my job and produce stuff but sometimes I just want to try something different that is not really work related but still creating something and doing something so illustration is really the perfect thing for me because I'm not an expert in it and I don't have any pressure to try to make something pretty it's just me for me to explore and have fun with for a limited time, you can use the link in my description to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Also, joining is less than $10 a month. I'll give you access to all these classes by really experts to dip your toes in and just get inspired and motivated to create and make stuff on your own. So click the link in the description below to try Skillshare out. All right, so now I've cropped up the first little spill here. And as you can see, then I'll have the cup edge that I can place on top so it looks like it's coming out from the cup. Now I want to create uh, the other side and I have a few different spills and I've cropped some of them out. So I think this one is going to work pretty nicely. Um, then I also have just some spills that are like this. And I also think I'm going to, this one I'm going to again copy and then command V copy paste it and then I'm going to up here to edit and transform I'm going to flip it horizontal so I get 
the different side of it, but now it looks pretty fake if I just make them exactly symmetrical. So there are different ways you can then manipulate this so it doesn't look exactly symmetrical, but you'll still get that heart shape. So one way you could manipulate it is to just go with the eraser tool and take some of the splatters away. Uh, a different tool to use, which I think is a really good one, is the liquify tool. So just make sure you have the right layer and then you go into liquify and we can zoom in here a little bit. And then you can choose the pressure. Uh, I think this one is pretty good. Pressure 70, size 53. And then I'm just going to manipulate this shape just slightly so I get it to look a little bit different than my original side. Another good tool to use is the warp tool. So you can warp it into the shape you would like. There's this fly that is flying around here and it's frustrating me a lot because it's super distracting. Yeah, I think it's done. All right, and when you're happy with your photo in Photoshop, you can go ahead and import it into Lightroom or some editing app if you'd like to make some final tweaks and really get that mood. So I made mine much more green than the original one just because I thought the colors were so gorgeous and just getting really that aqua in there from the sea that was kind of a stormy and windy day. And then with the coffee and the kind of brown with warm hues, uh, I'm really happy with how this photo turned out. I'm probably gonna make some variations on this also. Uh, please let me know uh, in the comments below what you liked of this tutorial, if you have something else you want me want, you would like me to make <laughs> another little quick tutorial on. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my photos, you can come say hi. I'm over at Kutova Kika on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you back here soon. Bye! Hello, a bee in my bonnet, hello. There's a bee in my bonnet, hello, hello. A bee in my bonnet, hello.